<laughs> All right, now we're uh, booted up into Japanese uh, MVS mode, which is pretty much what this is, Japanese MVS game. So you'll see, you get the usual warning screen that they always have in every Japanese uh, Neo Geo game. Not, get... <laughs> not for sale outside of Japan. The, the glorious Nippon. And you see right here, it goes right into the characters. So you don't have the whole beginning of what the Twinkle Star is and why these cute <coughs> characters are looking for it. Oh, there's Dark Run. I forgot Dark Run's also a character. Or why the heck everyone's fighting. Yeah. Or, or else I say, it's an arcade game. It's yeah. A damn, so we'll play one more game and we'll... Well, first we gotta coin it up. I forgot. Yeah. I put some quarters in. On the console rise, it's always a select button. Thank you, select button. Make sure our uh, Gerard's in. Yeah. Now, thank God it has the number <laughs> two on there. That's the one character I can read. And, um... Uh, I'll be the cat and you can be run. I'll find out what it is. Oh, it's a. We're, it's, we're mech suit cats. Yeah. Kasubai <laughs> is his name. And so it's an. Oh, let's just call him Kim. So he's got the little punching gloves that come out. Oh, here we go. It's full mech on cat action. Here we go. Oh. And I get my reversal. So every time the yeah now the Kim's or Kasubai has the uh, the little robotic fists that come out and they explode. I got my fever. It's like uh, Gerard's got his fever too. And this whole thing like this game has incredible slowdown as you, you may have told. You know, that's not our uh, recording equipment or anything, that's just how the game is naturally. And, you know, you played it, like, sometimes, like, on... Oh, that looks cool, the two-player version of it. I'll just send them away. That's cool in black. But, uh, I've played this a couple times on, um, emulator, like, uh, and it doesn't didn't have the, uh, the slowdown on it. and made it... it just feels really, really weird. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure on the PlayStation 2 version, um, on the PlayStation 2 version, the emulate the lag from the, on the original game, or you can have the ability to turn it off so it plays smoother. It's really weird when you turn it off, now, especially from playing this so much. I do it so the original game on the PlayStation 2 version is kind of a meh yeah. port. It's yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very poor, poorly emulated port. It's, it's cool that it's there. The other thing that they give you on the port, which is uh, cool, um, they did an original animated um, sequence for when the game came out on Saturn. It's a completely um, animated version with a, a different, a completely different song. It does not use uh, the, the thing that you saw, but it's kind of pervy in a way <laughs> because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yes, because um, in the game, uh, when you get up to like the final level after you defeat after run defeats her doppelganger of dark run she ends up like kind of like uh i guess we would say kind of like a uh, the, if um any sailor moon fans out there will know of uh sailor moon's daughter uh chibiusa turns into black lady where it's the evil version where she's older and it's still the same almost like the same person but uh, i got hit with the reverse <clears throat> and it, it shows like you know her body arching and like, you know, her boobs getting bigger <laughs> and it's like, people like, if you look up the uh, thing on YouTube and people are like, go there and keep pressing one, watch the boobs grow. <laughs> like, okay. Meanwhile, when, as you see them in the arcade game, they yeah. they look kind of like... She's, she's, kinda got, like, she's got a plate on, you can barely... S and they look like kids almost. Yeah. Well, she's 15, so now she's old. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's in, too in old. Japanese yeah. years. <laughs> Jeez. That's good and legal. And yeah, leave it to the Japanese. Oh, Japan. I'm I'm just thinking like if they made this like if it wasn't super cute, then I think more people would have played it. That's the whole thing. In America. Yeah. I mean, there's also the Dreamcast. Yeah, because I remember playing this in Chinatown Fair. 
I'm pretty sure they had this in Chinatown Fair, and it would get some play. You know, most people will, with the game probably going to be playing next, Samurai Showdown. Everybody loves it. Oh, Samurai Spirits. So I was saying we have to, have to keep it in uh, Japanese. It just looks cool. Oh, oh! Oh, I shouldn't have did yeah. There's nothing on the screen to put... Oh, now he's bouncing around like a ball. Oh. Oh, he got gotcha. me. He got me with the bus. So that there, there, kids, is a look at one of my favorite games on the Neo Geo. It's one of the reasons why I own it. One of my favorite, too. Twinkle Star Sprites. You know, it's unfortunately the price of the game has really gone up in value. But, you know, it's the t yeah, and this is the other difference is you, you makes uh, the uh, next player continue on two-player mode. So, I, I don't know if it's uh, win, lose, or draw. You're out. You have to... to that <laughs> kind of sucks. So, if you play two-player mode... But I think they want you in uh, in the regular adventure mode. So, right, right there, the last game that ADK made before they got absorbed by SNK. That's Twinkle Star Sprites. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.